story tonight, a hometown hero mourned after making the ultimate sacrifice. Captain Andrew Pedersen Keel well, More on that story first, though, some sad news out of Afghanistan. Today, family and friends of a Connecticut soldier are remembering him after he was killed overseas. Army Captain Andrew Pedersen Keel was Andrew one of two Pedersen American Keel was one of two soldiers killed in an insider attack by an Afghan Condolences, police. saying where he was is a particularly perilous and problematic place these days. It's one of the toughest, and he was doing some of the most dangerous and demanding work. And Congressman it's believed Joe Pedersen Keel was one of two American soldiers killed in a so-called insider attack. There are reports that an Afghan police officer shot at U.S. and Afghan forces. Two Afghan police officers were also killed in the attack, and several others Jesus injured. Pedersen Keel is a graduate of Avon Old Farm School and the prestigious West Point Academy. We're told Andrew Pearson Keel went to boarding school at Avon Old Farms and graduated in 2002. The headmaster at the school says PK, as what he was called, was, quote, a wonderful guy. As a Dean's List student, three sport varsity athlete, and editor of the school newspaper, the headmaster at Avon Old Farm says PK understood what it meant to be a citizen. How do we say thank you to one of our own Moran graduates who can never be here to accept our thanks? Andrew Pedersen Keel, also known as PK, was a student here at Moran from 1995 to 1998. One of the factors to the economic boom was the Ford Model T. Introduced in 1908, was a pricey, wealthy, full car. Later, in the 1920s, the assembly line created by Henry Ford offered time-saving mass production, which in turn lowered the price of the Ford Model T. Let's now go to Leah Fogg, who's on location at a Ford garage. Leah? In eighth grade, he took his core classes in the classrooms currently occupied by Mrs. Carbone, Mrs. Pucciarello, and Mr. Scurzo. He walked the same stairs in the same hallways as you and I do today. He ate in the same cafeteria and complained about not being able to sit with his friends at lunch, just like you. He took tests and sometimes complained about homework. In this very auditorium, he came to assemblies like this, saw the band and chorus perform, and heard the principal speak to his class. Unfortunately, he will never be able to return to Moran. Like many students here, Andrew was fun-loving, somewhat mischievous, very bright, and lo he loved to hang out with his friends after school. He was popular and athletic. His friends called him fearless. Teachers described him as unforgettable. After he left Moran, Andrew went to Avon Old Farms High School, graduated, and in 2002, he enlisted in the United States Military Academy at West Point. He graduated from West Point in 2006. Andrew was first deployed to Afghanistan in 2008. While serving, he earned three bronze stars. Bronze stars are the fifth highest combat decoration. These medals are earned for heroism, outstanding achievement, or by meritorious service. An amazing accomplishment for someone so young. Tragically, Andrew's promising life was cut short. Over the past week, most of you have had the opportunity for MVP News to be introduced to and get to know a little bit about Andrew. I got to know Andrew through my son, who met Andrew in middle school. Even as you became part of a culture that was foreign to me, made new friends, moved away, you always made me feel that your nerdy friend from middle school was just as important to you as all those new and exciting aspects of your life. I still remember talking to you as you debated whether or not to go into Special Forces. Although I could tell by the tone in your voice that you had already made up your mind. You had gone from that kid who drew upside down A symbols for anarchy on your textbooks to someone justifiably proud of the important work he had been doing for his country. I watched you harness everything that made you a great person and friend and use it to become an incredible soldier. You were someone that anyone would be proud to call a friend, a son, brother, and if your time hadn't ended too quickly, husband and father. You taught me more than you'll ever know. You taught me that life isn't well lived if you don't do things that scare you and make you uncomfortable from time to time. 
You taught me not to care what other people in school thought of me. You showed me the value in breaking some rules, questioning authority, and of talking to people who frame you and standing up for myself. Your willingness to challenge yourself and experience all that life has to offer is something that I will always remember and try to emulate. And knowing that someone who could have had any friend he wanted in school, but instead chose to hang out with me, instilled me with a sense of confidence that I still carry with me truly and fearless. And your time came in a way befitting of someone with so much courage and integrity. You touched and inspired literally thousands of people with your life of valor. The world, your family, your friends, and myself are worse off after this tragedy, but infinitely better off for having the opportunity to have known you. Rest in peace, brother. I love you. parents for raising a hero who will never return home again. How do we say thank you to those thousands of men and women who have given their lives while serving in the United States military? Memorial Day is how we say thank you. Will you please be dismissed to the cafeteria at this time?